hello everybody welcome to my channel this video will be full of hacks so please do not skip the video and give a big thumbs up if you like it starting with the skin preparation so to prepare the skin i've already done my cleansing toning moisturization and the sunscreen part now i'm applying a silicone based primer now the next part is color correction which is very important it will prevent your foundation to get gray after some time so wherever you are having dark patches you can use the orange concealer to correct that so i am applying it all over my face wherever i can see dark spots correction will also help you to achieve an even base now the blending part has come before you start blending make sure your beauty sponge is damp one it should not be dry now take a pump of medium coverage foundation and a little bit of translucent powder on the back of your hand now mix it and warm it up the consistency has become little thick and it will give you a clear and even finish with a minimum product blend the product on your face with the help of that same beauty blender Take your time and blend it precisely. Do not forget your neck and ears too. Now we are skipping to the next step which is concealer. Take the concealer which is two shades lighter than your original tone. Now I'm going to apply the concealer on the pigmented areas. This is one of my favorite concealer because of the coverage. Sometimes I tend to skip the foundation whenever I'm having lesser time to get ready. Now I'm going to blend my concealer with the help of the same damp beauty blender. Look at the coverage. Oh my goodness. No matter what kind of products we are using on our face, it should be blended properly. If the blending process is nice, it will look more natural on your skin. Before I start setting my under eye, I will just blend it nicely. It will prevent the powder to set in the crease lines. Now I'm repeating the same process on the other eye. These small hacks has made my life so easy. I do not prefer to waste the product. So whatever the leftover product I have on my pad, I'm just going to run it through the areas where I get more sweat and lines. I will set the concealer first of all before I start my eye makeup. This process will help my eyeshadow to stay strong and long. I'm ready. Don't you ever go out like this. The colorful part is on the way. Now I'm going to brush my eyebrows first to remove the excess product and now we are going to shape it nicely. Do you know that our both the brows are different from each other? Don't worry, you will get to know it once you'll start shaping it. Always try to take color which is closer to our hairline color. This will help you to achieve more natural eyebrows. As you can see that I'm filling my eyebrow very nicely and I'm not trying to touch the inner part which is the center part of my threading to keep it more natural. Following the same step on the other side, I'm just gliding the pencil to shape it nicely. And now I'm going over my threading to shape it as I want. I like thicker eyebrows, so I'm trying to make it a little thick. Just give light strokes to the inner part of the threading and then brush the excess off. Take a clean fluffy brush and remove all the excess translucent powder from your face and neck time for the pinky glow so i'm using a lipstick over here and i'm going to blend it 
You must be wondering that I have applied a lot but I am going to lighten it with the help of the same beauty blender. Take your time and blend it nicely. Repeat the process on the other side and with the same sponge put it on your nose and chin. Now beginning with the eye makeup, I have taken a beige color on my crease area. With a very light hand, I am just blending it over. This beige color is going to be my best friend in the whole process. You will see further how I have used this beige color to set my cheek tint and my lipstick. I am just trying to blend it nicely for the long lasting effect. I have opted for the wing liner today. So after so long I am going to apply it. I will be applying it with the two ways. On this side I am starting it from the center of my eyelid and I am just dragging it out and I am going to do the reverse thing. On this side I am starting it from the end and dragging it towards the center of my eyelid. Next, I am going to apply the same eyeliner on my lower lash line, starting it from the outer corner and moving it inside. I am taking a brown and a black eyeshadow and I am going to blend it with the help of a brush. This is the beige color I was talking about and I am just going to put it over the tint I have applied on nose, chin and little bit on the forehead. Now with the same brush, I am going to take my highlighter. So what happened, now, one day I was getting ready and I dropped my highlighter from my hand. And that was so heartbreaking. That, that was my favorite highlighter and it was quite new. So I took all the material in a small container and now I am using it. It is not the pressed one so I need to be very careful when I am applying it. Just a suggestion, if in case you drop any of your makeup product and if it's in the bottle or in a container which is broken, you can take any other container, it should be a clean container and you can shift the material to the other one. Just keep the hygiene on priority. Now it's lipstick time. I'm going to contour my lips with the help of a dark lip liner. Once it's merged nicely, I'm taking a very light shade of beige only and I'm going to apply it over. This is my one of the favorite lip shade. Taking another nude shade and I'm going to apply it in the middle part of my lips. Mix it nicely, I'm just dabbing it over. In order to make my lipstick more long lasting and waterproof, I am going to take the same beige eyeshadow and dab it over my lipstick. I am using the handle of the brush in order to lift my eyelashes a little bit. I am filling the lower lash with the help of brown eyeshadow. Finishing up my eye makeup with the last step which is mascara. Do not forget your lower lashes. Finish up your makeup with the help of makeup fixing spray and you're good to go. Please tell me in the comments if these hacks are helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching my first ever makeup video. This is my daily makeup routine and I hope the hacks will be helpful for you in future. Please comment below your suggestions for the look that you want me to create. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.